Hi, and welcome to a new episode, reconditioning a lithium hybrid battery. We already know what we can do with the Prolon charger. We know that we can connect it, we can charge the battery as with absolutely no problem. As you can clearly see, for example, this battery is right now in 223 volts. But then what happens if I overcharge or I receive a lithium battery from a customer that by chance had a problem and it's overcharged, how do I discharge it? Can I use by chance the Prolon discharger or cycler to apply a low current load to a lithium battery? Well, it's time to find out. The first thing I wanna do is with my Cat4 multimeter, I want to find out what is the amount of energy that this battery has. Let me show you, all right? Hope you guys can see from here. So I'm just gonna get the power from the main positive and main negative right here. All right, 228 volts, the complete hybrid battery. Let me see what is the amount of energy per cell. Well, very easy. Let me just find out with one single cell right here, give me a second. Okay, let me show you. We're just going with the first cell number one in this block, which is a uh, hmm, four volts. Let's see in the next one, four volts. Let's go to the next one, four volts as well. Let's see the last one, four volts as well, which means that this battery is fully charged. But hear this, some vehicles don't accept the battery fully charged. And like, for example, this 2018 Nissan Rogue Hybrid does not accept the battery fully charged. Thus is triggering diagnostic trouble code battery overcharge. So then how do I apply a low to discharge the battery to let's say 3.7 volts per cell? Can I use the prolonged discharger to recondition as well? Let's plug it in and find out. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So nothing more than just disconnect the charger that we already know that works with no problem. All right, let me just connect the plug right here, the power. All right, you can clearly hear what's going on with the machine. Remember that this is just a discharger. This is just apply a low. What happens if by chance I want to apply a high voltage low with low current using the Prolong? Hmm. Let's see, in three, two, one, Oh, look, 1.6 amps of DC current discharging the high voltage battery. So how long is it gonna take to reach, let's say 210 volts, which is, we could say nominal to this battery, a bunch of minutes, a bunch of hours, it doesn't matter. It will depend on the hybrid battery's capacity. But what I can tell you for sure, you can use the Prolon discharger to discharge a lithium battery with absolutely no problem. Look, it's changing now to 224, 223, which means, yes, the voltage is going down. We are draining the high voltage battery at a very, very low current. Have no doubt. The Prolong is discharging at 1.6 amps and look, 219 volts, so it is working. So I hope this answer your question if you can use the prolonged discharger to discharge the battery because it's overcharging. The answer is yes, you can use it and discharge the battery with absolutely no problem because remember, it's low current. And it doesn't do absolutely no harm because the high voltage batteries are made to charge and discharge at a high rate of current. So if you want to learn more, stick around for more tips. I'll see you then. Bye bye.